Welcome back to 6 News at 5. Time to take a look at your weather. And we're starting off today with our almanac. And the reason that we're doing that is to do some level setting and expectation setting because we now find ourselves five days from the start of astronomical fall and about 17 days into what we call meteorological fall. So by any account, yes, we are settling into fall weather. However, it's still in the 90s outside, for which a lot of people find that warm to hot, but again, level setting and expectation setting. Our averages over the last 30 years is about 90 for this date. So we're still right around those lower 90s. So when we see things like 94 happen, yeah, it's a little on the warm side, but it's exactly almost where we're supposed to be for this time of the year. And then I follow that up with a little lesson in uh, thermodynamics. Uh, drier air is more easily changed than humid air. So a little bit drier out there. We started off at 61, made it all the way up to 94 in Waco and around the area. 93 in Marlin, same in Killeen, 91 right now in Gatesville, 94 in Comanche, 92 in Hamilton. And again, most spots this morning in the lower 60s. And again, that is a function of drier airflow. So again, our relative humidity right now in the lower 20s across the area, 25% in Killeen, 23% in Marlin, and that's what allowed us to cool off and then subsequently heat back up during the day today. And our pattern is not really going to be changing away from that. And the reason is we're bringing back high pressure. Remember, high pressure was our friend all summer long. Well, yeah, we're going to have that pressure build back into Texas here over the next couple of days. Anything underneath this orange uh, semicircle right here, that's what we would call high pressure. You can see put the little high pressure symbol right there. You see everything kind of rotating around the center of high pressure. And again, we're going to see that move back into central Texas, southeast Texas, and that's going to keep our weather pretty calm over the next couple of days. It's also going to allow those temperatures to stay about three to four to five degrees above average for this time of the year. 94 for tomorrow, 95 on Wednesday, back to 94 there on a Thursday. So yeah, we're dealing with four to five degrees above average. And again, that high pressure is to blame for that. It's also to blame for the fact that we don't really have any real rain chances here the next three days. And in a way, that's kind of good. Gives the rain from last week a chance to soak in. That alleviates some flooding threats. So let's take a look at our forecast here for tomorrow. Possibly a chance, and especially our northern counties, but it's only about 10%. Not even worth putting a numerical value to really at that point. Cloud cover, though, stays with us. We'll call it mostly cloudy for your Tuesday. Same on Wednesday, a little bit of cloud cover moving in. But again, the rain chances just aren't there, primarily because of that high pressure. Now, with that in mind, I showed you for tomorrow that chance in our northern counties, especially there is a one out of four marginal risk for severe weather, primarily for DFW. But it does encroach again on our northern counties for tomorrow. Not a huge risk there. And again, in fact, don't plan on seeing much rain at all over the next couple of days. 93, 94, 95 tomorrow. And then we're going to stay right there. 95, 95. 94, 94, 95, really very similar numbers there the next several days before we drop down a little bit to start next week. Chris, yeah, back to it's you. second summer, Matt. Thank you so much.